found it out. Tom, Tom, boy, boy, tomboy. A tomboy is a girl that always likes to do boy things. Okay, and we coded this word a minute ago. This has suffix ed, so we put it in a box. That's a vowel. That's a vowel. That's a consonant. Divide it after the first vowel. Put an arc under diphthong oi. Uh, put your accent mark here. We're going to put a schwa over the a because this is the unaccented syllable and a is in the syllable by itself. So this word is avoid. Avoided. Avoided. If you avoided something, you try to stay away from it. All right, I want you to code these five words by yourself. I see one that has a final stable syllable, and I see a um, suffix on one. I see a pattern on one. I want you to go back and read all of them when you finish, all ten of them. Read these with me now. Coins, toy, enjoy, tomboy, avoided. Then you do these. Okay, let's take a look on the back. All right, let's see what's happening in the picture. I want you to look at what's going on up here in this picture. Okay, now let's read the words in the box. Read with me. Cat, baby, girl, puppy, son, boy. All right, you're going to use these words to fill in these blanks to complete the sentences. Um, and now we're going to read the words in the high frequency word box. Read with me. Boy, oil, point, together, brother, again. All right, lay that to the side. You can come back to that after we do decodable number 32. Roy's best toy. Okay, the author is Cynthia Benjamin. What did the author do? She wrote the story. It is illustrated by Taya Morley. What did Taya Morley do? If she's the illustrator, she did what? She drew the pictures. All right, let's find out what's happening in this story. What a day. Today is the day Roy moves. Will he make some friends at school? I wonder why he doesn't have any friends already. Oh, I know. He's moving. So he must be new. Wherever he is, he's in a new place. So he doesn't have any friends there yet. Roy likes to play with his cat, Tiger. They play together in the backyard. Tiger runs over to the soil and digs. All right, so what do Roy and Tiger do? They play in the backyard. What can we do today? Asks Roy. Let's go see the stores, Mom says. Mom takes Roy to a toy store. Oh, I bet he's loving that. Roy looks at many toys in the store. He points to a puppet. I like this toy the best, he says. I can paint this toy. Okay, so I'm thinking that must be a wooden puppet. If he's going to paint it. I have some puppets, but they're made out of cloth. So you couldn't paint that very easily. Okay, read on. Roy's puppet, look, I didn't even know this. Roy's puppet is made from wood. First, Roy paints a face on the toy. I will use oil paint, says Roy. See, when I was over here reading, I was thinking about the puppets that I have. So I was trying to make a connection to Things that I know, things that are in my world. Um, 
I haven't seen his puppet before, but I'm thinking, oh, all my puppets are made out of cloth. So I'm making a connection to what I read. Okay, so that's what good readers do. Good readers make connections. All right, so let's read this page one more time. Roy's puppet is made from wood. Well, see, that confirmed my prediction that this must be wood. First, Roy paints a face on the toy. I will use oil paint, says Roy. See, there's more than one kind of paint. There's water paint and there's oil paint. He's using oil paint. Mom can fix the puppet's strings. Then she rubs oil on the wood. What a great toy, says Roy. Roy names his toy Superboy. Superboy can point his arm, Roy says. Now Roy's puppet is a toy that can move. I have a Christmas ornament that is like this. This is actually, um, it's got little wooden slats at the top and the strings hold it and that, and you can move the arms and legs by moving this part up here. And I have one that's a soldier that hangs on my Christmas tree that's made like this, but I didn't paint it. It was already painted. Roy takes Superboy to school. His classmates want to play with Superboy. The kids in Roy's class enjoy his toy. The end. You know what? I bet that was a good way for him to make friends because he carried something to school that the other children may not have seen before. And so they were interested in it. And so that was a, something for them to talk about. And then they got to know each other, and they could become friends. All right, who has moved to a new place? Roy did with his family. What kind of store does Toy? What kind of store does Roy visit? His mother takes him to what? To the toy store. All right. What does he use to paint the puppet's face? He uses what? Oil. Paint. What can the puppet's arm do? The puppet's arm can move, can it? And how do you know that the puppet is fun? Where do we find that out? Well, first of all, we can see that they're all smiling, but it also tells us the kids in Roy's class enjoy his toy. All right, so we enjoy things that are Fun. All right, boys and girls, practice reading this with your study buddy. Go back and finish your worksheet and read all those words. Do your best.